Hello students, welcome to EPG Partshala. I am Pankaj Kumar from Institute of Hotel Management Rohtak, Haryana. Today we will be talking on the module called Budgeting for Housekeeping, which is a part of the paper named Hotel Housekeeping. Students, after completing this module, you should be able to understand the concept of budget and its use. You can find out the various types of budgets in the housekeeping department. You should be able to explain the planning process of different types of budgets. You should also be able to understand the importance of budget as a controlling device. You should be able to describe the advantages and limitations of the budget. Dear students, the term budget is derived from a French word budget, which means a leather pouch fund allocated for meeting anticipated expenses. According to ICMA England, a budget is a financial or quantitative statement prepared and approved prior to a defined period of time of the policy to be pursued during the period for the purpose of attaining a given objective. Let us have some other definitions like a budget is a plan by which resources required to generate revenues are allocated according to Raghubalan. A budget is a plan which projects both the revenues the hotel anticipates during the period covered by the budget and the expenses required to generate the anticipated revenues. While Branson and Lennox defines it as a budget is a plan of expenditure and if there is to be any control of cost throughout the establishment, budgeting is essential. Budget is a plan of expenditure that projects the revenues that a hotel or department anticipates during a specified time frame covered by the budget as well as the expenditures required to generate that anticipated revenue and for operating the department. Housekeeping department being a non-revenue generating department of hotel has to plan their budget efficiently so that they can control their operational expenditures and can help in achieving the financial goal of the hotel. Budget serves as a guide by comparing the actual expenses with the allocated expenses in budget and hence helps in checking the efficiency of the department. It is mostly made for a year and helps the executive housekeeper to check that the actual expenses are in accordance with the budgeted amount or not. In this way, it acts as a controlling tool. A budget gives a critical insight of the departmental cost, reviews the past planning and present accomplishment. It also suggests necessary action to accomplish the hotel's financial goal in coming future. Executive housekeeper prepares budget on the basis of the past records like hotel occupancy, salaries, wages, purchase of equipments, etc. and future forecast of expenses. Budgeting is done for a specific period usually one year. As for longer periods it becomes difficult to forecast requirements and expenses. Further the annual budget may be broken down to monthly budgets. However, the budget may be adjusted if the need arises due to some unforeseen circumstances. Now let us discuss different types of budgets. Budget can be classified in different ways based on various factors. On the basis of functional departments, a budget can be classified as master budget and departmental budget. Now master budget is a type of budget that involves forecasted budget for the whole hotel it is a summary budget that incorporates the entire functional department's budget and incorporates all the estimated incomes and expenditures of the whole organization. It is an outlay showing the proposed activity and the anticipated financial results during the budgeted year. Master budget is sent to board of directors for approval. After its approval, the functional budgets are sent to the concerned departments so that they can plan their working according to their budgets. The management can plan the business activities during the budgeted period on the basis of master budget. This type of budget serves as a planning and control tool 
also as after completion of the period actual results can be compared with the master budget and necessary control action can be taken departmental budget this budget is prepared by all the departments keeping in view of their respective expenses and revenues for the year every department of the hotel forwards his to the financial controller different departmental budget in a hotel are housekeeping budget fnb budget maintenance budget etc on the basis of type of expenditure budget can be classified into three different types the first one is capital budget capital budget is prepared for the expenditure on company assets the items purchased under capital budget are usually not used up in the regular course of operations instead they have a life span that exceeds a single year for example furniture fixtures equipments etc major initial purchases like vacuum cleaning machines maids cart floor scrubbing machines laundry equipment linen uniform etc can be included in capital budget as they have a relatively longer useful life second type is operating budget operating budget is prepared on forecasting revenues and expenses associated with day to day operations of the hotel during a certain time frame all the cost that a hotel experiences in order to generate revenue in the regular course of operation is called operating expenditures the major heads under operating budget are salary and wages cleaning material guest supplies etc and the third type is pre opening budget this budget is required for smooth opening of a new hotel as a new hotel has to invest a good amount of money in installing the facilities and also on the workforce hired as the pre opening team the initial expenditure on equipment cutlery crockery linen and the other supplies are required to make the hotel ready for operation it may also involve the expenses on advertisement etc classification on the basis of flexibility a budget can be fixed or flexible fixed budget a fixed budget is one that is prepared on the basis of definite criteria without any provision for modification at any point during the period of time covered by the budget it remains unchanged throughout the period it has planned for usually fixed budgets are planned for individual activities and are not related to revenues for example budget for stationery advertisement etc fixed budgets are suitable under static conditions and are useful when sales expenses and costs can be forecasted with great accuracy flexible budget flexible budgets are prepared for a range of activities after considering the unforeseen changes that may occur it is a budget that adjusts for changes in the volume of activity they are based on expenditure on anticipated revenues for the budgeted period all departmental budgets are mostly flexible as they are based on the forecasted business and expected revenue the flexible budget is more useful than a static budget which remains at one amount regardless of the volume of activity like changes in sales classification on the basis of time period of planning again there can be various types like long term budget long term budget is a systematic process for directing and controlling operations for a period extending over a year mostly this time frame ranges from 1 to 5 years this type of budget tries to evaluate future implications linked with present decisions the more is the time frame of budget the more will be difficulty in forecasting the expenditures and expected revenues market trends competitors government policies etc play crucial role in preparing long term budget This type of budget is usually in forecasting and evaluation of an organization over a period of time. Short term budget. Short term budget is planned for a period of 3 month to 12 month. 
depending upon the nature of business. This type of budget is mostly planned in such a way that it coincides with the financial period as it facilitates the evaluation of the firm's performance. If planned for a shorter period, that period should complete all aspects of business in a season. Current budget. Current budget is prepared according to the relevant circumstances. They are of very short term budget covering a period of one month or so. Now let us discuss the various types of expenses in housekeeping department. Different expenses in housekeeping department can be classified into capital expenses and operating expenses. Capital expenses. Capital expenses involve large amounts on such investments that have a long term impact on the hotel. These are the expenses which are intended for long period of time. Cost for most inventory items appear in the operating budget as expenses against the revenue generated over the same period. However, the cost for machines, equipments are a part of capital expenses since they have relatively high cost which require capital investments by the hotel. So it is obvious that decisions on these items are critical and should be made by a team comprising the general manager, financial controller and executive housekeeper. The types of item that comes under capital expenses are large equipment and machines, furniture, fixture and fittings in rooms and public areas, linen and soft furnishing in guest rooms and public area, uniform of staff, any new project plan like construction of a new block etc. In housekeeping, decision to invest in capital expenses is caused by restoration of rooms or public areas, any addition of rooms or public areas, replacement of any equipment, furnishings etc. Now, the second type of expenses are operating expenses. Operating expenses are the allocation of expenses for each item required by the department in order to operate smoothly. In case of a hotel, operation expenses are based on occupancy percentage. The budget amount for the month varies since there is a certain period where occupancy forecasts are unreliable or unpredictable. The various heads of expenditure that are normally reflected in a housekeeping operating budgets are staff salaries and wages, employee benefits, linen, guest supplies and amenities, laundry and cleaning supplies, decorations, small equipment, pest control, horticulture expenses, printing and stationeries, repairs and maintenance, contract services and miscellaneous expenses, salaries and wages. This is a major head in operating expenses. It includes staff pay, bonus, incentives, provident fund, etc. The staffing guide and the occupancy forecast are used to determine the total labor hours cost for each job category. Employee benefits. This head includes staff meal, medical insurance, staff parties, pensions, etc., human resources and accounting staff help to determine what level of expense to budget for the employee benefits. In some places, this head is merged with employee salary and wages head. Linens. Every year new linen is purchased for the used up linen or linen that has completed its life cycle like towels, bed sheets, etc. Replacement cost for new linens can be determined with the help of monthly physical inventories of the housekeeping department. Guest supplies and amenities. Expenses on operating supplies that includes non-recycled inventory items like soap, shampoo, toothbrush, etc. Laundry and cleaning supplies. Expenses on the different type of cleaning agents required in laundry and cleaning of different surfaces like detergents, fabric, conditioners, glass cleaners, etc. The cost of operating the hotel's on-premises laundry is directly related to the volume of soiled items to be processed. Decoration 
housekeeping department helps and assist in the beautification of the hotel inside and outside the building. The expense on the decoration comes under this category. Small equipments. Expenses on purchase of small equipments like brushes, brooms, microfiber cloths, mops for cleaning, squeezy for glass cleaning, etc. comes under this head of expenses. Pest control. This one is an important category as the sophistication in hotel premises has no place for any kind of pests. Mostly, it is done by contracted agencies having competency in this type of job. It can be done by the housekeeping employee also. Accordingly, the budget should be apportioned. Horticulture expenses. Expenses on flower arrangement, decoration, garland for VIP guest on arrival, florist expenses, flowers, oasis and vases, and landscaping expenses, seeds, sapling, flower pots, and manure are included in this category. Printing and stationeries. Expenses under this category is shared by front office and housekeeping department. Repairs and maintenance. This type of operational budget is usually divided between housekeeping and engineering department. Contract services. Contract or past invoices can be used to budget the cost of outside contractors for cleaning projects dry cleaning, laundry or any other contracted activity. Miscellaneous expenses. It includes all other departmental expenses like telephone, lighting, water expenses, etc. Now let us discuss the process of budget planning. Budget planning for housekeeping involves the following function. Getting estimates of room sales or occupancy percentage of the hotel. Coordinating estimates on expected costs per room, estimating amount of resources available and their allocation, communicating the budget to responsible managers implementing the budget plan. Now we see the planning process for different types of budget. Planning capital budget. Capital budget is the allocation of funds for particular items that will help the functioning of the hotel. In housekeeping, it can be replacement of additional made trolley laundry washer and dryer, building a new laundry shop for outside customers, replacement of vacuum cleaners, replacing out of order furniture as the equipment have a certain lifespan, yearly planning of capital budget is made on the basis of items to be planned during that period. Planning operating budget. In order to have a smooth operation in the hotel, it is important that allocation of funds for the operational needs and maintenance of the hotel should be handled and monitored effectively. If operating budget is not monitored efficiently, it will lead to the demise of capital expenditure. The first step in planning the operating budget is to forecast room sales as most of the expenses that each department can expect are directly related to the room occupancy levels. The rooms manager gives the executive housekeeper the yearly forecast of occupancy levels broken down into monthly budget periods using historical data along with input from hotels marketing department the room manager will provide an occupancy percentage for each budgeted period in housekeeping department too salaries and wages the uses for recycled and non-recycled inventories are directly related to the number of rooms occupied. To executive housekeeper, the concept of cost per occupied room is an important tool to determine the levels of expense across different heads. Once the executive housekeeper knows predictive occupancy levels, expected expenses for salaries and wages, cleaning supplies, guest supplies, laundry and other areas can be determined on the basis of formulas that express cost in term of cost per occupied room. The budgeting process simply involves relating cost per occupied room to the forecasted occupancy levels. Budgetary control. A budget gives a critical insight of the departmental cost reviews, the past planning and present accomplishment. It also suggests necessary action to accomplish the hotel's financial goal in coming future. 
The budget thus acts a guide that provides the managers with the standards by which they can measure the success of operations. By comparing actual expenses with allocated amounts, the executive housekeeper can track the efficiency of housekeeping operations and monitor the department's ability to keep its expenses within the prescribed limits. Budgets provide a financial framework within which the housekeeping department operates. The budget also acts as a guide as to which things need repair or replacement. It helps to determine what valuable pieces of equipment may be purchased and to pinpoint the areas where emphasis will be placed in the coming year. It can be said that the budget is an instrument used by the management for controlling and directing many activities like purchasing activities, planning and monitoring the budget helps to identify wasteful expenditures. Whenever the financial situation changes, it can be tracked by budget and necessary steps can be taken to achieve the financial goals. It coordinates all the activities of various departments of a business firm. It provides a means for determining the responsibility for all deviations from the budgeted plan. Budgets provide a tool for corrective actions through reallocations. Now, we will look into the advantages of budgeting process. Budgeting avoids wastages and losses and thus maximum efficiency is attained in the department. It also gives management a chance to plan ahead to achieving long-term goals. It increases communication and coordination within the firm. It motivates workforce because of their participation in setting up budgets. It leads to identification of areas of efficiency and inefficiency. It acts as a yardstick for comparing actual performance. The budget gives a control over the expenses in the department. It keeps the managers focused on the departmental financial goals. It keeps the management aware about the different expenses during the budgeted period. It also tells how to allocate the funds, how far the hotel is towards reaching the financial goals. It helps to organize the expenditures and savings by dividing the money into categories of expenditures and savings. It provides you with an early warning for potential problems. It provides a platform for internal audits since regularly evaluating departmental results, establishes divisional and departmental responsibility, helps in identification of people responsible for deviation from budget, it enables to produce extra money by identifying and eliminating unnecessary spending with late fees, penalties and interest. These seemingly small savings can add up over the time to a significant amount. Management with well-ordered budget plan receive greater favor from credit agencies. Extent of financing is predetermined thus avoiding possibility of over or under capitalization. There are some limitations of budgeting process also. It is based on estimates so it may not accurate every time. Sometimes one can find it misleading due to changes in external factors like market etc. Managers suffer from inflexibility of budget since they have to operate within the set limits. It may make managers complacent if budgeted performance is easy to achieve. If budget is perceived as pressure device on workers, they can get demotivated. Many a time departmental conflicts arises because of the competition for resource allocation in budget. Short term perspective of the budget limits the manager's perspective. Now students. Let's have the look at the checklist for preparing a housekeeping budget. Know the present position of the department. Review the previous year's financial statements. Look at the major events, festivals, etc. for the year ahead for future forecast. Check for any expansion plans, increase or decrease of workforce. Check on the supplies needed. Consider automation, new technology and better products. 
take each cost heading separately and compile to form the fin final budget. Plan for practical goals and do not over budget. Take into account the inflation percentage prepare by looking at past experiences, present knowledge and judgment on what is likely to happen. Identify areas which can or cannot be controlled. Review operating cost and expenditure that is variable, semi-variable and fixed. Prepare throughout the year for the next year's budget, noting changes and scope for improvement. Now let us wrap up the module with a brief summary. Budgeting is an important aspect in any of the business and hotel industry is no exception. It is a plan of expenditure that projects the anticipated revenues as well as the expenditures required to generate that anticipated revenue of hotel. Housekeeping department is one department that uses heavy amounts on both capital and operating expenses Hence, an efficient and effective budget plan is needed to make this non-revenue department run with maximum efficiency and attain the financial goals. Budget serves as a guide and can be used as a controlling tool to check the various activities of the departments. It can be classified on the basis of different aspects like the department involved, time frame, flexibility, etc. A sound forecasting is needed on the basis of past data and future events to plan the budget more accurately. Thank you.